Showdown looms as bandits still hold captive after the Zamfara community release terrorist wives. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome back to this wonderful channel where we bring you back to back updates and information. Pure news will be like olive oil, we bring from Israel, from Mount Olive. There is a palatable fear of breakdown of law and order in Berin Magaji community of Zamfara State over the refusal of bandits to release community members after their disposal, even after their own terrorist wives were released by the youth who had abducted them. A reliable source in the community told PR Nigeria that the failure of the part of the bandit to fulfill the expectation of the youth has set the community on the edge. On Saturday, a report revealed that residents of the community, in a bizarre twist, abducted family members of bandits as a retaliation of a recent kidnapping incident in the area. The youths of the community, in retaliation of the kidnapping of some residents, intercepted wives of the bandits, including a pregnant woman, and abducted them. It was later gathered that bandits gave residents of the area 24 hours to release their abducted wives, but the youth declined, insisting that the bandits must first release the community members in their captivity. Though a negotiation was initiated between the community leaders and the bandits towards resolving the statement, one of the terrorists campaign ordered the release of their abducted family members within 24 hours or he would unleash terror on the community. A local source told Nigeria that after pressure from the authorities, the youth com complied and released the women. The youth of the community are now feeling cheated and are boiling over the fact that the bandits have refused to re reciprocate by also releasing the community dwellers they abducted. Actually, we have no reason to release the women for whatsoever it is, but when we were requested to consider the health challenges of the women, we succumbed. The women, including the pregnant one, came for medical treatment and antenanta at a public health facility in Berin Magaji. Since the release of their wives, the bandits are here to release our people that they abducted. This is not fair. We may henceforth retaliate since we also know some of their families. The community leader who pleaded anonymity lamented. And <laughs> by uh, because uh, the things I know Hosino, but the things where we say we see for uh, this country now is um uh, what you cannot even put your mouth. Or eat your own uh, because uh, how can bandits be known? Their house is known and um, nothing has been done about it. I think I'm um, looking at the state of things. You will see that uh, things are getting out of hand. Uh, as I go bring you another news from Sarah Reporters, wives, children of S Nigerian Army Chief Accountant Muriana Batu over multi billion Naira properties. Let's Late General reportedly purchased with armed procurement funds. <laughs> and when you are taking money that belongs to everybody, just know that um, uh, what you are creating for your own family is, is trouble. The surviving wives and children of late Major General Abdullahi Yanda Muriana are locked in a bitter dispute in court over the multi-million Naira properties the S Army General reportedly purchased with public funds, a marked for armed procurement for the military to fight terrorism. Sir reporters gathered that Moriana's wives and children were before the Upper Area Court in Gudu, Abuja Federal Capital Territory, to seek the court's intervention in the distribution of his estate in accordance with Islamic law of inheritance. The house and landed properties involved included House 21 Mohammed Isma Street, Asoko District, FCT Abuja, Movie Lounge, 
Ring Road, Ibadan, or your state. Movi 21 Event Center, Ring Road, Ibadan, or your state. Smart Bridge Plaza, Otako District, FCT Abuja. Pacified Plaza, Barempa, FCT Abuja. House 82-820C, Spam Estate, Maitama, Abuja. And 17th Congo Street, Sun City Estate, Abuja. Other properties being disputed over by the families before the court include 19 Congo Street, Sunny East City Estate, Abuja, House at 11, Barcelona Street, Sun City Estate, Abuja, House at Benue Street, Sun City Estate, FCT, Abuja, Dyla Farms, Kefi, Nasarawa State, House at Oka, Ako, Ko, Close, Gaki, FCT, Abuja, Yalit Petroleum, Fuel Station, along Abuja Kefi Expressway, number 3, Onikoko Estate, Opposite SSG's house, Ikobala Ibadan, Oyo State, 11B Mahogany Street, Forest Hill Estate, Jariko Ibadan, Oyo State, Acres of Land at Akinkajo Village via Iron Rogun Area, Oyo State, Block V Plot, 98, New Government Reservation Area, Jericho Ibadan, Plot 57, 55, Phase 1, Stage 3, Adoja Town, Corporation, Ibadan, and Story Building at 16 Awolowo Avenue, Bojida Ibadan, Oyo State. His vehicles, which are also subject of dispute, are Toyota Avalon 20, 2013, Bulletproof Lexus LX 550, 570 2013, Bulletproof Ford Explorer 2013 SUV, Toyota Hire Sporting Citas. Hummer Boss 2015, Ford Truck, and one Toyota Colora. Muriana died in a hospital in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates last September. It was learned that Muriana died in state, that is, without leaving instructions about who would receive his property, leading to the bitter dispute between his wives, Al Haja, Peju, Muriana, and Anne, Usaj, Muriana, and their children. The late Moriana, who died at age 64, held Oyo State and was until his death, 23rd President and Chairman of the Council of the Nigerian Institute of Management, chartered. Moriana was also a former Chief of Accountant and Budget at the Nigerian Army Headquarters. A source told Sahara reporters that Moriana was indicted for arms procurement fraud in 2016 by the panel of arms procurement set up by former President Muhammad Buhari in 2015. The source, however, added that nothing came out of it. Muriana was one of the officers indicted in our audit report in 2016. The panel on arms procurement set up by then President Muhammad Buhari indicted this fellow for the Economic and Financial Crime Commission, EFCC, did nothing to implement the said report. The EFCC also did not arrange him in any court. General Moriano owned all the properties listed in, in the September 2, 2023 this day publication as he was the chief of accountant and budget at the Army headquarters. You can now begin to wonder how much the chief of Army staff served under, saved under looted. This is exactly why Boko Haram and other non-state actors Waging war against the state have not been defeated. It served the interest of a few to keep fighting the war. For the Abuja properties alone, the Asokoro, Utako properties are valued over 1 billion naira each, a member of the panel said. The source added the late military officer did not purchase the properties, now subject of illegal legal dispute with his legitimate earnings while in service. The presidential panel set up by the President Buhari through the Office of Natural's National Security Advisory to probe arm procurement between 2007 and 2015 submitted its first report in November 2015 and it seems the report in January 2016. <laughs> My people, when I don't see Ebem Lis, we are bound up to go. I am not battling for all the single people who are uh, when I don't also see why the things we say they happen for Obodo, uh, 
they happen. <laughs> yeah, but uh, everybody go collect one by one. Person will use person blood to the build uh, in go still collect. Meanwhile, I go to wind down the cutting here. Uh, can't do here. Um,